hello. I um, have been doing a yoga class that's yoga movement, music, and meditation. And uh, today my student was sick, so I am going to offer what we were planning on doing for class today. Um, so for the music element, we've been doing a lot of listening. Listening is really important. It's a really important skill that's underestimated and not really focused on in a lot of training. But if you're talking about from a communication standpoint, if you are a good listener, then you're a good communicator. When you're not a good listener, you aren't getting <clears throat> the message that the other person is trying to give you. And that means that you won't understand each other. Listening is essential. And as a musician or a person making music, you have to practice listening. And listening is a good, safe place to start. So since we've been already doing a few weeks of classes, we've already done quite a lot of listening. Uh, we're going to work today with the Hapono Ono Ono. So this is a Hawaiian prayer. Probably it's backwards. I love you. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Uh, that's my version of it. That's my take on it. It's um, used as a healing method that can be directed at any relationship or issues that you've had with people towards yourself or others in communication or otherwise. Um, and there's been some really interesting studies done with this particular prayer. So when I was first getting into sharing chant as part of my yoga therapy program, um, I wanted to start with something really simple that would be easy for people to grasp. So not difficult Sanskrit words but in English and I've had a few very powerful experiences with this particular chant. This morning I am having difficulty communicating with someone where I feel that I'm not being listened to and I'm not really sure what to do about that because you can clarify and clarify and clarify but if the other person doesn't really want to hear what you have to say then they're not going to. And this is a perfect example of how this chant could potentially be used as part of your personal practice in yoga. It's not hard. It's not long. It's not difficult. It doesn't really matter when you do it. It doesn't matter if you do it high or low or loud or quiet or inside your head or outside your head or singing or just chanting it quietly to yourself. Um, it's very effective and it helps to release any attachment that you have to the outcome of whatever situation is happening so that hopefully, and it's my intention, that relationships can be healed and the ones that need to fall away can just fall away and the ones that need to be nurtured can be nurtured. Um, <clears throat> so it's very simple. I love you. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I love you. I 
forgive you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. forgive me I love you I forgive you I'm sorry please forgive me I love you I forgive you I'm sorry please forgive me I love you I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, I forgive you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, I forgive you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. forgive you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me.
feel the body vibrating, the vibration in the body. Don't be confused and think that it's singing and music as a traditional Western music function. It's not. So the elements of performance such as pitch, rhythm, tone, did I stay in time, did I slow down, did I speed up, did I sing sharp, none of those elements apply in this case. When you're using sound as healing, the quality of the mantra being repeated is what's important. The repetition of these simple phrases, as you repeat them, they go a little bit deeper and you start to experience what love is, what forgiveness is, what truly asking for an apology is and asking for forgiveness because in any situation where you have miscommunication and things aren't lining up and people don't understand what the other people are saying there's always an element of the person who's not hearing you being hurt whether your intention to be hurtful was there or not when you acknowledge the fact that the other person is hurting that allows for some freedom for more understanding. It doesn't mean that you won't have communication problems. It doesn't mean that your relationships will suddenly be easy and perfect. Right, Blackie? But it does mean that when you have nervous energy or frustration about relationships and how things have gone, or how things are deteriorating, there is something that you can do that's simple. Share your love. If you can't directly with that person, you can indirectly through chant. So I hope this answers any questions people may have about the difficulty of the music element of my class to see that it is not music, it is not difficult, it is not going to be a challenge, and it's not going to be overly hard. It's going to be spiritually hard, which is a completely different thing. And not hard at all. Just surrender. And namaste.